Welcome to the Top of the Morning Show. It's your girl, TT from the D. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's hump day for somebody somewhere around the world. I want to thank you for taking time out of your morning to log on and check out the Top of the Morning Show. If you tuned in last night for my Tap In Tuesday over on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter, you caught my interview with the one and only Everett Casimi, NBC Chicago News anchor, also singer-songwriter. It was an amazing show. And again, if you have a heart to give, he has an amazing song called Please Come Home for Christmas. And it is going to provide additional monies to the Chicago Housing Authority. All you have to do is stream it. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, I believe also, let me see, Spotify, Apple Music, and iTunes. That's correct. So iTunes, Spotify, and Apple Music for sure. And if you liked some of the music that you heard, all was played from Evra Gassimi during the show last night. Go to his website to get information on how you could obtain his music by visiting www.evrodcassimy.com. That's evrodcassimy.com. Now, this morning, we're going to tap into something as we're getting ready for the holidays. And I've talked to several different people. And this topic this morning, I'm not going to hold you long, is very befitting. The holiday blues. What is that? You may understand what it is all too well, but I want to share 10 triggers that trigger people holiday blues. One, family gatherings. And I know that gets you like, oh, we got to go over here. We got to go over there. They're expecting us to do this or they want us to host that. Right. You got drama, drama infused people. Right. Right. Family fights, disorganization, dysfunctionalism, you name it. You're like, yeah, I'm straight. Some people dread the holidays because they do not want to have to entangle with those type of people. Right? But set a limit. Hey, if you just want to show your face, you can say, hey, I'm going to do a 15-minute check. I'm going to stop by for 15 minutes. You know, or I'm going to stop by for half an hour or I'm going to stay an hour because I'm I'm shaking and moving. Right. You know, we do. We shake and move. Got to pop in, pop out. Set that time and it's okay, Right. Or if you can feel confident, just say, you know what, am I going to be able to make it? And sometimes that's hard because people have expectations. But again, if you checked out the, the show I did yesterday morning. For Tuesday, it was called Dance to the Beat of Your Own Drum. That goes hand in hand. You can't show up for everybody and be everywhere just because they need you to be or want you to be or tell you to be. Number two, over-commercialization. Oh, my God. You know how you've been in the store. So you could be like, let's just say, because I know everybody got a Walmart in most places in the world. So this is or the dollar store or something like that. During the season, they put out stuff before the holiday come. You ever been in a store and let's just say it is mm, September. They already got Halloween costumes out. Soon as Halloween comes, they got Thanksgiving stuff out. Thanksgiving they got Christmas and it's everywhere and everything and it's like oh my god you can't even focus on what you came to do because you got all these things right there in your face right that gets your attention but you got to learn to ignore some of them things if that's not something you like to do don't worry about it you know our my mom came over to our house the other night and she was talking about my tree so she says oh my god your tree is not like it was last year. I was like, yeah, I didn't want all that busyness and stuff, you know. Less is more. So she's like, yeah, yeah, well, you know, you this and do that. I said, mom, this is how we, the tree is fine. It has its lights. 
It has some bulbs. It has some sentimental ornaments. And she says, where's your angel for the top of the tree? I said, oh, yeah, we don't have an angel for the top of the tree. And she's like, what? Oh, I got to get you an angel. I'm like, oh, my God. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm all right with it. And don't think I don't see all the stuff that's oversaturated. My thought is, what you going to do with all the stuff that you don't sell? Because you bring in an abundance of stuff. I'm wondering, does anybody remember that, especially here in Michigan, we're kind of going through a recession. Okay? So don't let people impose their thoughts on you. Number three, overcommitting. How do you deal with that? By using the word no. No, thank you. Feel free to say no. You don't have to. You might want to just take this time as a moment of rest. Do that. Sometimes that's the best gift you can give yourself is rest. And I know a lot of times we feel obligated, over obligated, but again, no is a powerful word. Number four, financial worries. Oh, people go broke. You got people to take out loans for Christmas, for the holidays. And it's kind of like you took out a loan to get in more debt. If you don't, if you had to take out a loan, that means you don't really have the means, the money. Why are you taking out a loan, especially for people that you don't deal with on a normal? Because you get this, well, I better get them something because they going to talk crap. So let them talk. Let them talk. Stop trying to, again, dance to the beat of other people's drums. Okay? And it's not always the gift. It could be you, hey, I don't have much, but you know, let me let me make you a meal or... You know, let me come by and help you get something or, you know, it's, you could be creative with it if you don't have a materialistic gift. But as I say, I say this every year and I have not done it. Now, one time I'm always like, I'm going to Christmas shop in advance because you know how you go through and time is a ticking and they, they, you know, discounts and clearances. I'm like, well, what happens to why we can't just say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, take this stuff out and I'm just gonna uh enjoy it and and put it away and hide it and wrap it up later yeah we don't do that and then you know you got those one people that'll say oh it's out of season I'm sorry I ain't know it was a season (laughs) number five unrealistic expectations now look life is hard enough on a day-to-day basis and adding the pressure of a holiday manifesting can bring extreme sadness. It can bring irritation. It can bring forth anxiety. And let me just tell you this. Stop trying to be perfect because there's nobody that's perfect. Okay. Overcommitting yourself expectations oh I'm, I, I promised that I would uh, bring cookies for the bake sale or the holiday Christmas thing or oh go to the store get some cute cookies right put them in a pretty container which you can buy from Walmart or something like dollar store and deliver them at the school they don't know if you sat there slaved and baked or you bought them from a store And you're still feeling your obligation without feeling stressed out. Okay? They'll forgive you. Because they'll never know. Number six. Fatigue. Staying up late. Wrapping gifts. Right? Decorating. And it's like. Yeah. You're tired. Trying to shop. You're stressing yourself out. Like you've been looking for this one thing. You swear you checked everywhere. And it's like. Oh, maybe you did. But everybody is looking for something. And a lot of times we're looking for the same thing. Right? That's okay. If you're getting out there and you don't like to hustle and the bustle. Some people love that hustle and bustle. I, for one, do not. If you don't like that hustle and the bustle. If you ain't got nobody that can do things for you. Just do it next time. Or send somebody else to do it. Number seven, stress. Hmm shopping traveling 
planning, right? Here's the worst. If you have a child or children and they're young and they don't have the capability of staying alone, you're stressed out because you got to try to find somebody that can watch your child or children. And people are doing things this time of year. So people are not available. And a lot of times people aren't available on a, on a daily basis, like on a regular basis, I should say. Because they got, you know, a lot of us are side hustles or entrepreneurs or whatever. So we don't, you know, have that time. And a lot of us, unfortunately, don't have that big mama that we used to have back in the day that watched everybody kids so you can go to work and do things. So you got to improvise. Improvise. Improvise, right? Sometimes you might want to do a two for one. Do things that you could do where you don't got to leave. You know, if you're trying to go out and have a, a drink with the girls or go out and have a beer with the fellas, why don't you suggest that y'all do a, a wine luck? You know how to do a pot luck, a wine luck, or a beer luck. Hey, bring your favorite bottle. Come on over. That way you're still there you're with your child or children. And if they grew up in the old school way, they know the children should be seen and not heard. So what you guys are doing, whatever you're doing, if that's what y'all want to do, and maybe even say, hey, somebody, you know, want to grab a pizza or let's, you know, let's everybody bring some ingredients and we'll make a dish or be creative with it. But don't stress. Okay. Number eight, breaking healthy habits. Now, you have that extra cup of eggnog spiked. (laughs) <laughs> right or you have that glass of wine and you're like eh. right you're not getting enough rest you're not getting enough sleep you're not taking your medication right create a new habit avoid staying up too late avoid alcohol or at least Know what your cutoff point is. And try to add exercise to your life. I know I'm getting ready to do that. I just rejoined our gym. I'm excited. Because I've gained some weight and I don't like it. Now thank you my husband. My husband is amazing. My husband's like oh you look beautiful to me. I love him and I appreciate him. And ladies if you have a significant other that reminds you of how beautiful you are. And with the stretch marks or cellulite or extra love handle and they say I love you and you're beautiful to me accept it embrace it it was hard for me and sometimes still is but I look and say you know what I'm gonna break that ugly habit because it's an unhealthy habit and I want to form good habits number nine being away from family and friends now if you can't make it home for the holiday it's very you know heartfelt it goes perfectly with the song Ever I Cassimy has Please Come Home for the for Christmas, right? So Please Come Home for Christmas can be streamed on Spotify, iTunes, and Apple Music. All proceeds will go to the Chicago Housing Authority. But it resonates because we do get in those slumps where it's the holiday blues and we're feeling like if you just recently buried a loved one or a loved one move far away or a loved one has been incarcerated you know you you're you're feeling like oh you're feeling the holiday blues try to to the best of your ability try to get with family and friends that are close and near see what they're doing and I know it's not the same I get it but just don't wallow in that blues and if you can avoid it don't be home alone 10 number 10 the final one for this morning shorter days <laughs> we right we fell back got us racing and peeping ready for the spring forward but we got months to go we just got into the fallback weather so it gets a little bit dreary and it doesn't help when it snows and rains at least here in Michigan you you know when you're in other places that's sunnier and prettier and vibrant you don't have these battles but oh if you're somewhere like Detroit Michigan it can be different 
And they said the darkness of winter really does bring forth moods of sadness and anxiousness and blah, blah, you know, depression, seasonal depression. They actually call it sad, seasonal affective disorder, right? And it's more common, unfortunately, in us. I don't know if it's because we're um, nurturers by nature. I don't know, but yeah, we experience it way more than fellas do. But if you have those symptoms, see your doctor. See a counselor, therapist, your pastor, preacher. Your priest, bishop, you name it. A friend, a confidant, someone you know you can trust. It's not easy this time of year to to avoid the holiday blues. In some fashion or form, you will experience it, knowingly or unknowingly. But don't stay in that place long. Acknowledge how you're feeling, but don't stay there. Life is a beautiful gift that we unwrap every single day. So unwrap yours tastefully, carefully, lovingly, and cheerfully. Because today, somebody didn't unwrap their gift. Well, that's all I got for you on this wonderful Wednesday. I hope that you enjoy your day, no matter where you are in the world, or in the country, I should say. Whatever country you're in, whatever city, state you're in, enjoy yourself. As you prepare for the holiday, remember that there's somebody who is dreading preparing for the holiday, pray for them that they get through this season and every season after. It's your girl, T.T. from the D, and I'll see you soon.